Hey there, this is Akshit Madan and welcome back to the part 4 of complete wallpaper app in Flutter using the Pixels API. So in this part, so in the previous part we have fetched the API, we have got the images data, we have got the list of photos. Now in this part we are going to put this images data into our grid view. So our grid view will be showing the images. Amazing. So first of all, let's see in the uh, this map, in this dictionary, we are getting, uh, sorry in this list, we are getting a list of dictionaries in which there is a key called source. As you can see, uh, where is it? Yes, in the source key, we are getting again a map which is having the list of images for different different sizes like original size, then uh, tiny size, large to x size, then uh, medium size, then large size like this. So we are interested in tiny size because we want to load the images fast, fastly, right? So what we will do, first of all, come to your grid view and instead of defining the item count as 80, define it as images.length. So how many images are there in this, in that images list? that many grid view tiles will be there right now instead of returning a simple container we want to define it a child for it child image uh, sorry network image or image dot network sorry image dot network only so image dot network which will be having which will be taking the url so what is the url my url will be images at index for every uh, image because it is a list of images, right? So images at index at source, that is src at tiny, right? So as you can see, come to your, so this is a repository, I've already told you about it. Yes, so inside this, what we are going, inside every image part, every image list, uh, uh, list uh, content, we are going inside the source and we are loading the tiny URL, right? So this is the meaning. So we have loaded the tiny URL. So let's save it. Yes, we have to also define a uh, fit. So over here, fit will be box fit dot cover. Yes, amazing. We have got the images, right? So, and you can see how fastly they are getting loaded. That's the beauty of this API, right? Because we are getting the images in different, different sizes. Now we have loaded the API, we have got the images. Now what we want to do, whenever I'm going to click on this image, I'm going to go, I want to go on the full screen image because I want to see the full screen. So that we are going to build now and we will see uh, uh, setting the wallpaper in the next part, right? So first of all, let's create a, and yes, one more thing that we want to build, that is whenever I'm going to click on this load more button, I want to uh, increase the grid tiles, right? So what I will do, I'm going to define another function so after this fetch api function define load more function and inside it what you have to do first of all after this list images we have to define int page is equal to currently one right because after every clicking on this load more i want to increase the page number so what i will do after this load more button uh, where is it yes Inside this load more function, I want to set the state of page number as page is equal to page plus one, right? So my page number is now updated. Now what I will do, you have to define the URL. So we are going to copy this URL, but there will be a change. I'm going to tell you after this set state, string URL will be that same thing but after this I'm going to define plus and so after this 80 you put a and because we want to now give two parameters that is the page number also because we have increased the page number I want to now load the images in the second page so define a and so this is a simple uh, uh, API working and JSON data working right so this you should know after this and put a plus now the second parameter second parameter is page number uh, let me see if it is correct uh, okay this page okay we don't have to define number we have to define the page and this page will be again a plus so i can put this thing over here only and after this put a plus and put the page number so page dot to string sorry page dot to string 
Yes. So now my URL is ready. So what is happening? I am defining another URL in which per page images will also be 80. Now the page number I am just changing. So page I, here I have not defined the page number because by default page number is one. So for initialization, my page number will remain one. But uh, whenever I am clicking on load more, I want to increase the page number. So I am increasing the page number. I am setting the state and I am defining the page number in the parameter list. Now let's use that same thing in this await from over here. Let's copy it and define it after this. So URI.parse will not be this URI, it will be this URL. Right? Headers will remain same. Same. Now dot then value. Now here also I'm going to get the map result. I have to decode it. So map result will be JSON decode and it will be value dot body. So again, my data is decoded in JSON format. Now what I have to do, I have to append this images, the new images list, which I've got into the previous list, into this list, right? So then and then only my get grid view will get appended. So for that thing, you have to define a set state and images that is that list dot add all. That means all that uh, data which we are getting, it will be appended. And what we want to add result at photos. Save it. Let's see our mobile and let's try to call this function. So let's go to that button. Yes. Now uh, wrap this container with the inkwell and put a function on tab and call the load more function. Save it. Let's click on this load more. And you can see more images are loaded. Amazing. Let's click on load more. Now page three images will be loaded like this. Click on load more. Now page four images will be loaded as you can see. Amazing. So I hope this much is enough for this part. Now in the next part, we are going to make the full screen and we are going to set the set wallpaper button. So till the next content, keep coding, keep innovating and thanks a lot.